I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Out in the wave, she's the queen of the hunt. Quick ray, our top, she pulls off any stunt. Swift like the wind, fierce is the tide. Small is the ship, we're adventurous sides. Oh, sail the sea, brave and bold. It's moan and what stories of that are told. Dash through the waves, fearless and grand. She's pride of the navy, the power of the land. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the small one with a simple strategy of overwhelm the enemy and kill all the destroyers. Really, really simple. Before we get a like, subscribe button below. If you like what we're doing here, support the channel. Give that uh, like button a hit there and also subscribe and be notified of notifications of new videos. And as always, thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate all what you guys have done. I build a better community do some learning and make some good friends and have fun at the same time. So let's get right to it. So that is the map hotspot right here. And this is pretty fun. Like I've said, this is an already strategy I've already talked about, which basically you are overwhelming Charlie cap with literally ever, almost everybody with one destroyer capping alpha. And the whole idea is uh, pretty much just to uh, get everybody inside the island, overwhelm the destroyer here. That's always going to cover at this Southern Islander here. I usually go here, but you know what? If we overwhelm it, we take out the destroyer and that's one destroyer down. You don't have to deal with. Meanwhile, all the other ships inside of the uh, four corners of the Charlie uh, build a fortress and that allows you to win the game. So that's the basic strategy right there. Everybody's just all battleships, cruisers, just overwhelm the sides of Charlie uh, on, from both sides. So essentially, you have the, in this particular scenario, we have two radar, radar cruisers going right into Charlie and this overwhelms Charlie this side so the destroyer can't back in or back up. And then all he can do is go forward, and we're right there with the radar to eliminate as well. Small and being one of the most powerful DD Hunter killers out there. And uh, let's take a look at the video and see actually how it uh, plays out. So here is the map right here, initial positioning, and we've already uh, shown how we're going to do this. I'm going to speed it up real quick. And right now, I'm, as a destroyer player, I'm, what is the first thing I'm looking at? Uh, first thing is, uh, as a good destroyer player, you check out the map. What am I going against? Again, this is kind of a fair fight, to a small one versus a small one. So fair fight, they have extra destroyer, so you got to be more a little bit vigilant. They have a daring and a high taste. So you want to eliminate all three destroyers right there. So as always, we're going to go in and use RPF. And as I've analyzed the situation already, I know who I'm playing against. I got a lot of radar I got to deal with. So we're going to use RPF and keep our guns facing in that general direction. You can see RPF. He is probably, again, I know that that destroyer is going to go for that island right there. So see, yep, he is in there. This indicator says that we are both being capped or both contesting right now. So no points are going up. The cap is not being spotted. Notice the timer is not ticking up or down. And we are being radar detected. So I'm going to power through here. So I'm going to engine boost my way through and just overwhelm this flank. I'm going to go right through here using island cover for cover. for uh, cover. Obviously, island cover, cover. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and shoot the small one right there. And it's just a one on one versus. This is at this point just player uh, skill at uh, who can aim better and who can get more shells on target. So notice he is using the island for a little bit of target, or uh, I would say, I guess you could say shielding. Unfortunately, that's not working out for him because he's also getting shot from the left. He's getting airstriked as well. Again, having all that firepower teamwork right there, pop the radar, because now he's spotted. Notice I held the radar to the last possible moment until I know that I need it. And right there, we're going to get him, and boom. So he got hit by the Stalingrad. So he, being overwhelmed by this flank allows us to win that battle right there. And, he, and we're not worried about the flank because most ships can't go that fast to outflank our enemy. Hayate and Stalingrad are Stalingrad's not in a position to shoot, and then Hayate is running away. You see, so that 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 is the power of this positioning right here. Overwhelming force because now the enemy doesn't know where to shoot at, who to focus fire on because there's just too many targets, and it overwhelms the senses, right? And I, that's human factors engineering. You just got to know how the human mind works so right there that's the power of the small and juking shells back and forth notice i took three shots and three players which means three players are not shooting at my players so the, guess what now we're all positioning and setting up we have yamato in the back for uh, you know base of fire we have good providing airstrikes two Sal a salem and a song two radars there with the battleship in tow so right now all the, our ships have to do is just focus fire on the montana meanwhile we're going to push around the corner and eliminate the next destroyer okay i can't get the hayata he's too far away right now but i do know where the daring is i see this is also mini map situational awareness you 
you have to blow this thing up to see it. Now, I know that the, the Daring is going to outgun my Shimakaze, so guess what I'm going to do? As a good player, I'm going to basically be a quick reaction force, react to the threat, and proceed to where the target and the uh, opportunity is right here. So right now, we've got the Daring. And again, I outgun the Daring. Again, his guns are not facing me, which is a, a, an advantage to me. First look, first shots, first kill, right? So we're going to keep shooting. Now, he goes undetected. My radar is on cooldown for 16 seconds. So I'm going to kind of slow roll it right here. Just wait and we'll, till that radar comes back up because I know he's not going to shoot. You know, clan battle players are really, really smart, very effective. They know, hey, he's got radar. Or, um, I, I want to go undetected, stay undetected as long as I can. Unfortunately for the small one, the only situation here is run away. You can't do anything against the small one with the radar and the outperforming DPM gun power. So he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's running away. Unfortunately, the radar is now spotted him and detected. And just the reload and the rate of fire is just overwhelming. You notice I'm leading the target. Let him just walk himself into the shells. And again, he, he's doing the shimmy shimmy shake shake, which I recommend as good a short player. But unfortunately, again, this is DPM small in here. You can't do anything about it. He's being, I'm being shot up by the Puerto Rico. And you know what? I'm just going to eliminate him first. This is the priority. Boom, splash two. Two destroyers down right now. And now we're going to focus on the last destroyer. That is how we're going to win the game. Kill all destroyers, win the game. See, so notice that, again, look at where my team is at. They're using the uh, the islands and everything covered. So I'll pause the video to take a look at it. Look at this position right here. One, two, three, four, four corner, four fortress right here. Nobody can really get angles on these guys. And they can't really focus fire because each one of these people is at least blocked by the islands against one of their players so you can't really focus fire very effectively there now we're going to use rpf again first look first kill right rpf guns are facing to the right of the ship because i know where this hayate is and again last mini map location shows me who's there i'm going to assume and just kind of guess he's potentially coming back around to torp, torp our ships he doesn't have rpf he has no no idea where i'm at so you know i have no indication up here i do look and look you can tell right here Look, look at this. His guns are not even facing in my direction. Why is that such an advantage point right there? Because you have the advantage of getting first look, first shots on, first kill. And I, look, our, H, our, our, H, our health, HP, is at the, pretty much at the similar. Unfortunately, his guns are not in a position to shoot. And therefore, I can get more shots on target first. So we're going to get one, two, three. Yep, I'm already getting, I'm already knocking down 5,000 health right off the bat. He gets one gun turret up front. Unfortunately, that one shot he got off is not enough to kill me. So right there, that is the power of having RPF, situational awareness. That This skill is always active for the majority of the time. You don't have to do anything special or whatever. It just gives you situational awareness to know where the enemy is at so you can get your weapon systems to bear on target. So that's that's why I like that skill so much. This is also great for a, hunter, a DD Hunter Killer. And that's how you win the game. Pretty much is just mopping up the game at this point. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the strategy. We'll take a look at the review on the replay again one more time so you guys can see it overall sky picture. And now it's just mopping up uh, the game. Take the football and kneel it and win the game kind of that style. And just look at that uh, DPM firepower. I'm just speeding up just to enjoy it there. I just like hearing the gunfire. Yep, that Puerto Rico has to shoot us. He has nobody else to shoot at, I guess. I guess we're a bigger threat to him. Again, let me know what you think. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to probably do a video of why I think uh, being a Battleship player nowadays is really difficult, uh, especially in the meta today, especially higher levels, tier 10 and higher. It's just the amount of ships that are just bringing the pain, and uh, we'll talk about that in another video. But, man, it is difficult playing those Battleships and uh, Heavy Cruisers nowadays. And boom, he goes down. That is the game right there. 100,000 damage, two kills with the majority of the kills being the destroyer players. And that, that's how you eliminate the team. And that's how you win there right there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, I know the 4,000 subs, we're doing another premium giveaway right there. And detailed report, a lot of fire, a lot of shells, 64,000 damage, torpedo hits, and fires. Look at that. And uh, let's take a look at the um, the uh, replay, or sorry, the, uh, the, over, the, the map again like we saw earlier. So you notice right off the bat, right here. Here, see, see how this is just, it's not a win-win situation at this point. I mean, the small one has to deal with two flanks, and that's what you got to do. You got to overwhelm and flank the enemy. Daring, obviously, is too far away, so I'm not worried about a destroyer at Bravo. Yeah, he's doing the, his, his job is supporting his player, but unfortunately, notice again, I have this island to block fire from that angle. Again, this this team right here has fire blocking from this, this island right here. This island is also shielding our advance right here. So what can you do as an enemy? You can't really fire through mountains, so... All right, and there we go. You eliminate the first destroyer player. One destroyer goes down. Again, these two players are literally non-existent because why? They have a mountain right here. He's torping. He's got terrible angles and he's got to run away. Yeah, give him Bravo Cap. Now, this player at Alpha has to be the one that be is, the like I said, a good player 
to really hold off an entire flanking enemy by yourself because you got to wait for your force to make go in and take Charlie. And at this point, look, the battleship's in the back. Both battleships are in the back here. And again, I think, man, we'll talk, do a video about battleship players and uh, how I think the ship is obsolete or kind of war game. You're just making it obsolete with the amount of firepower you're bringing to bear new ships and everything, especially just released um, the uh, new cruiser. That's the uh, super ship of the Wooster. I think it's the Jacksonville. You're, you're introducing a ship that can literally shoot so many shells with literally a full penetration of the shells. I mean, it's ridiculous. We'll talk about that later. Okay, Shimakaze running away. Like I said, here we go. We come back and support our destroyer players. The destroyer players support each other, right? You right, go right there. We, we kill the second destroyer. And at this point, it's mobbing up. Look at all the battleships and everything are in the back. And it's just us, our team just having fun. And there it is, the last destroyer being eliminated right there. You cover your team. We got two captured in defensive mode right now. Now the enemy team has the burden of pushing. And you notice, I guess, this is just, it's just overwhelming firepower. And you can't really, how are you going to attack this with two or three ships? It's very, very difficult. You push through the middle or push through the sides. I mean, your focus fired immediately as you enter the doorway. And again, we take two caps. Puerto Rico can have it. And that's how you eliminate the team right there. So again, as always, thank you for your support. Appreciate all, all you guys who say hi out there. If you see hi, see me out there, say hi. I want your name out there popping up. You're, you'll see your names in the videos and just say, hey, how's it going? Be kind to everybody else. And as always, hope you guys are doing well. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time in the next uh, video. All right, take care. Cheers.